hello there. So I have my cute bot here from Electfreaks, and I'm going to attach an 1602 LCD, or is an LCD 1602, which is basically um, two rows, 16 characters on each row, and it is an I squared C device, which needs uh, pin 19 and pin 20. So if you look here behind where you um, plug in the micro bit, it's got four pins there. One's for ground, three volts, 19, and 20. So there's pin headers there for that. If you don't want to plug it in there, you can actually plug it in here. This second row, where it says IIC, see that it says IIC there on the second row um, that follows the same pinout as here so this is ground this is voltage this is pin 19 and this is pin 20 so you gotta make sure you plug them in correctly um, they are not aligned to just go like that for some reason so I have red, my red is ground, and my orange is power. My red is ground, and my orange is power. And then on this one, ah, come on. On this one, it's actually the, uh, the night pin 19 and 20, which are flipped around. Um, pin 19 is the SCL, the clock. And that's my yellow. And then green is um, pin 20. So I need to get pin 20 in there. And then pin 19. So I had a little twist of the um, cable. Now, this right here is actually an adjuster for brightness. So if you're not seeing something you think it should be, uh, you can tweak the brightness. So we'll turn that around. Let's go to the code. Um, here we are. Boom. So we're in our make code. We need an extension. So we go to extensions. And I just put in 1602. I've never put an LCD. Let's see what happens at. And there's only one here for this. Done by Roger, uh, Roger Wagner at MakerBit. Let's go back and see if I put in LCD, what happens. I don't know, LCD. Oh, a couple things come up. Okay. So that one might work too. But this one, I know this one works. Uh, so I click, here's my extension. MakerBit's another um, connection board for the MicroBit. Another expansion board, so here's LCD. First and most importantly, we have to tell it that we have a, an LCD at the address 39. Um, usually that's the right address. I've seen one other address and I can't remember um, what it is. And now we just uh, make it show some stuff. We've got some you know, blocks here to work with. I don't know if they all do. Pretty much I want to show data or words. So I'm going to drop in um, just this. Uh, I'm going to change that to Qbot. And it shows you where it's starting. It's starting at position 1. And we're going 16 characters. If we go more than 16, it's going to wrap around to the second row of characters. Um, and then just to make it do multiple things, I'm going to have it do that for a little bit. And then the classic pause and then we're going to show it you use the same block to show text and numbers there's no actual just number block in the LCD it's just going to show whatever you tell it to be there um, so the number I'm going to have it show me is the temperature and that's the temperature from the uh, micro bit and I'm not going to put it at 1, I'm going to put it at 17. And this is kind of the idea where you would put, like, after that. Oh, let's put something after that. Um, 
let's see our temperature um, can be probably two characters long so I don't want it so 17 and 18 would be the temperature like if it's 21 degrees as the as I just said uh, then I'm gonna leave space and I'm gonna have it say Celsius at there uh, but then we're gonna make sure we pause otherwise because I also want to show you one more block. Um, and that's the clear screen. Where are we? LCD clear display. All right, we're going to have it show QBot, clear the display, show the temperature, Charleston Celsius, do that for three seconds, and then come back to that. All right, so download us. And then we're going to flip over to the webcam. I think we're downloaded. So when we come back, we'll plug our micro bit in and we turn it on. It says the, there, it says QBOT, three seconds, and it says 27 Celsius. Good over three. Notice that 27 Celsius never goes away because that in my code I never told it to go away. Um, I don't basically told it to always display 27 Celsius. The clear screen is after uh, QBot, so it's going to clear QBot and then show the temperature. Then it's going to come back, show QBot, clear, show the temperature. So it's all kind of always showing temperature. Um, let's see if the temperature changes. I just breathed on it, and you see, yeah, it's shown registering temperature. So, um, again, we can plug it in in front. Well, let's see, I hope so. Let's see if I can do this live. Um, plug it into these four. Need a different cable for this. This cable was a socket to socket. This cable for a front is a pin to socket. So sometimes it depends on what cables you have. I'm going to try and flip it over to, let's turn it off. And let's plug these all in here. And then we're going to pull it out of this one. All right, so I got ground and voltage. So yellow is ground, orange is voltage. Yellow is ground, orange is voltage. Make sure. Yeah, got to make sure you, you plug those in right. Um, it's good practice to have it off, especially while you're playing with voltage. The other good practice is to always plug in ground first and unplug ground first. And then we go 1920. Uh, 19 is red. So that's going to go on the outside, so that means the brown's got to go here. So, and hopefully we get the same thing that we just had before. Ta-da! So you can plug it in, connect it either place. Just remember that uh, there's no numbers written down here for which, which pin is which. It follows what's written back here. On this one, it does not follow what's for the SR04, um, which is a completely different um, arrangement because it's a trigger and echo kind of thing. So, there is an LCD being connected. Enjoy.